Gatamai Volcano is a beautiful volcano. It is also named after a village, a national park, and a preserve. It has had many eruptions and still more to come. One of the largest eruptions was an eruption in 1912, along with another eruption of a nearby volcano called the Nova Eruptive Volcano of Alaska. This eruption left 40 square miles burned with a layer about 700 feet deep of ash and other volcanic material on top. Clouds were as black as the night sky and the eruption spread all the way to Seattle, Washington. This eruption was 10 times more powerful than the eruption of St. Helens in 1980. Trees were turned to dust and the clouds released acid rain. Because of all the ash and debris, a person could not even see a lantern in arm's reach. Katamai is a stratovolcano, meaning that it is easy to climb up the first half, but really hard the rest of the way up. This is because of the steep top and the small crater. Katamai is one of the five other volcanoes close by. It has a diameter of about 10 kilometers and it is almost completely mantled by snow and ice. It was built on sedimentary rocks, which soon exposed itself west of a nearby caldera. Katamai is also part of the Ring of Fire. Summer was approaching for the people of Afognak, a village in the city of Kodiak, Alaska. Around that time of the year, the people were gathering red salmon and preparing food as they always did before summer. Near the village of Katamaya, the volcano had erupted. Using the traditional knowledge passed down from earlier generations, the people began to gather water because they did not know how long the eruption would last or if the water would be contaminated due to the falling ash. The villagers were forced to evacuate via a ship called the Manning because the eruption was much more severe than they realized. The Manning sailed from Kodiak to Woody Island Point. The Navy wireless station was located on Woody Island and was the only place where contact with the outside world through radio could be made. Unfortunately, lightning that came along with the eruption and ash fall had struck radio towers and they burned to the ground. The villagers of Katamaya moved to Perryville, named after Captain Perry, the captain of the Manning, and their descendants still live there today. many tips and rules to follow around a volcano. If you are 10 to 100 meters around the volcano, death is actually unavoidable. At 300 meters to 3 kilometers from the volcano, bombs can still come out of the vents at any time. 3 kilometers to 10 kilometers away, you are pretty safe because only bombs from very, very large eruptions can hit you in this area. Beyond 10 kilometers from a volcano, it's a zone safe for habitation. Only Lara, a hot or cold mixture of water and rock fragments, can reach over 10 kilometers. All of the equipment you will need is a helmet, maps, a compass, GPS, food, water, suitable clothing, gloves, a tent if you're camping, a phone, because some volcanoes have cell reception, and escape plans. Always take a well-educated guy with you to the volcano to avoid getting lost and receive updates on volcanic activity. Extreme heat, cold, windstorms, heavy rain or acid rainfall, lightning, altitude sickness, blizzards, getting lost, volcanic activity, unstable terrain, dangerous plants, animals, insects, robbery, kidnap, personal injury, civil unrest, malaria, typhoid fever, and food poisoning can all be problems when even trying to get to a volcano. Beware of ashes, bombs, cinders, and seeing the vent because then you are in firing range. Never be at a volcano at night because then rescue is almost impossible. A lot of people think of a volcano as a mountain that burns cities with a big hole in the top. Something that most people wouldn't really want to live next to. But what most people don't know is that most volcanoes are actually very useful. For example, a volcano's ash can be used to enhance soaps as an abrasive.